back of two by two, but side by side, coming out of oh, number two, around goes the 32 and hard into the wall. Miguel Paluto, hard into the wall, coming out of turn number four. Very reminiscent of Danica's accident in the duel. Caution comes out for the fifth time. Miguel Paluto running in the top three. Slides coming out of turn number four and then a head in collision with the inside wall. And what a great sign to see that window net go down as the safety crew will get to him immediately. Mm. Wonder if he got a little bit of nudge from behind from his teammate James Busher. Everyone was trying so hard on the inside to keep that outside line from coming. Let's see if we see any contact here. He's the second car on the ins or second truck on the inside line. Wow, maybe he let off the maybe he made an evasive like action there because of PK Jr. Wow, what a violent what an impact. How how violent that was. That truck weighs 3,500, 3,700 yeah. pounds and it flies up in the air like that and catches on fire and yet and we saw how quickly Miguel Paluto had put the window net down, was taking his helmet off. Amazing. I think he got in the back of Nelson P.K. Jr. And when it did, when he did, that slowed his momentum. And that's, I think, James Busher got into him. Watch Take this now. Look. It's hard to see. You can see right there. You could see, you could see P.K. get a little bit sideways. That's real time speed right there. But I don't, I don't know if those trucks make high. I know P.K. got sideways, and then all of a sudden Pluto gets sideways. And these trucks handle well enough. It's hard to understand how this could have happened. Watch how close now Pluto gets to P.K. I think he just made a. I think the leader just got loose, and. And Paluto just made an evasive, act, a bit of a quick move, and he lost his truck. Maybe. I, th I think there was. I think there was contact. Dude, let's see. Riding along with Ron Hornaday now. Watch, watch the leader get sideways. You're right. I don't think there was any contact nah. he, he, from front or behind. And I think Miguel just said, "Oh no, where's he going?" And you remember earlier when Polly Haraka, right there off turn four, where the track flattens out. You're going very fast there. The banking goes away, and the trucks are light there. The back end is light. He makes a move because he sees his teammate a little bit sideways, and into the inside wall he goes. That truck spins 360 degrees in the air before coming back down on its wheels. And how about this? Miguel Paluto climbing out of that truck and will walk, wave to the fans, walk to the ambulance after such an amazingly hard hit to the inside wall. Makes you want to go hug NASCAR, Tony George, whoever all came up with these safer barriers, Dr. Sicking. Yeah, the University, University, of Nebraska. University of Nebraska using a lot of their technology. Could you even imagine hitting that with without that safer barrier there? Mm. University of Nebraska was one of the front runners in guardrail technology that you see on the highways and NASCAR went to them about the safer barriers and and that really is what made Miguel Paluto able to walk to the ambulance after getting out of that truck, right? James Busher came on and driving that AccuDoc Chevrolet he said, I did not touch him. Make sure he understands that. He said the weird part was it looked like the rear wheels came clear up off the ground. And he said, I could, I had a foot and a half between him. So it was very strange whatever happened to that truck. Hermie? Yeah, Ray Nelson, PK Jr.'s crew chief, Chris Carrier, is letting uh, Nelson know that uh, he was inquiring about his teammate Miguel and what had happened, if there was anything that he could learn from what happened to Miguel towards the end of this race. And Chris Carrier said, hey, there was no contact. You did nothing wrong. It looked like the 32 maybe made an evasive move and uh, maybe turned the wheel too much and got himself out of shape. But uh, these guys are really comforting Nelson PK about uh, what happened with Miguel. Also telling him that on this restart, his teammate Busher should start behind him and they're trying to formulate a plan for this restart. Could there have been a little something on the track there, Phil? Maybe a little moisture? For some reason, the lead two trucks just out of control. Doesn't look like there's anything on the racetrack, but you never know. Miguel Paluto, hard, hard hit out of that truck and into the ambulance.